Robert got into a fight with his two older brothers. They forced him to leave their house when he had no money and a place to stay. His brothers never liked him, and when their father died, they took over all the property. Robert was sitting by the river when he noticed the kitten drowning. He jumped into the river and swam close to the kitten. He reached out to grab it, but the kitten disappeared. Something from beneath the water caught his foot. He tried to free his foot, but the thing dragged him under the water with great force. He noticed the bright light. The strange light was dragging Robert deep into the river. He fainted. When he opened his eyes, he was in the bathtub. Your Highness, have you not bathed yet? The voice came behind the curtains. Robert was confused. He looked around the room with his eyes wide open. The bathtub was the size of a small room, rose petals were floating in the water, and the room was big. It was surrounded by curtains rather than walls. Your Highness! Are you well? Why aren't you saying anything? The voice came again. Yes I'm well, said Robert with a tight voice. Shall we bring your clothes your highness? asked the servant outside. Yes, said Robert. The servants came in with his clothes. Towel, said the servant. Robert grabbed the towel and wrapped it around his body. The servants helped him to dress. When he came out, a weird-looking man was waiting for him. The man approached him and whispered into his ear, the king has gone hunting. Now is our chance to kill him. Robert's heart stopped. Before he could ask anything, the man went away, as if it was already decided. Your Highness, do you want to rest in your room or visit your fiancé? asked the servant. Robert knew he had arrived in the past, and the light he saw in the river had brought him here. I want to rest, said Robert in a quiet voice. The servants led him to his room. He went inside and sat on the bed. Now he displayed his full expressions. He ran his hands over his face, then his clothes, and kept touching and looking at himself and the room. He was taken aback. But he had no way of understanding all that had happened. He heard a knock at the door. Your Highness, please come out, said the man outside. It's the voice of that weird man. Should I go out? What should I do? Robert said to himself in nervousness. The door knocked again, you highness. We are running late. Robert ran to the door and quickly opened it. What is the plan? asked Robert. You made the plan, your highness. Why are you asking me? the weird man said in astonishment. I forgot the plan, said Robert while smiling. Are you well your highness? I have never seen you smiling, why are you acting so strange today? Said the weird man with a boggled mind. Something hit my head yesterday, I think I've lost my memories, said Robert while rubbing his head. Your highness, you haven't left your room for the past two weeks, so how did you get your head hurt? Asked the weird man. I don't know, said Robert. Your highness, you are not sick cried the weird man. Maybe. I had a fever yesterday, said Robert. Did the servants know? asked the man. I don't remember, said Robert. Your Highness. The next day when Robert was trying to wield his sword, the king arrived. All the servants hurried back and bowed their heads in honor of the king. Robert was scanning the king from head to toe, then it occurred to him that he too had to pay respect to the king. The king smiled at him. Robert did not know what he should do to show respect to the king. He bowed his head a little and smiled and stood up straight. A prince should not be so arrogant in front of a king, said the minister. Did I do something wrong? Robert thought. Crown prince, yesterday I went hunting. There a person attacked me and my companions. I was wondering who is it that wants to take my life, said the king. Robert was a little surprised. He thought that if he had not gone to kill the king yesterday, who would have attacked? Robert's silence increased the king's suspicions. What has happened to Crown Prince? 
why is he not giving any answer? The king must now have doubts, the weird man whined. Are you okay? I hope you are not hurt. Robert asked gently. Yes, I'm okay. You don't seem to like this news? King smirked. Why would I like this news? You are my father and I respect you. I pray, may you live long, said Robert in a firm tone. The king laughed. He told Robert they'll meet again. He walked away with his ministers. Robert thought that if he is in the crown prince's body, it means that either the prince is in his body or he is dead. Later that day, he heard two ministers talking to each other. They were saying that they had killed the crown prince, and he drowned in the river, then how come the prince came back? Now everything was clear to Robert. That day, when Robert drowned in the river, the prince also drowned in the river. They had exchanged their bodies. We gave prince the strongest poison. There is no way he could still be alive, said one of the ministers. But he is alive and that is the truth. Maybe the poison was fake, and someone rescued the prince behind our back, said the other minister. Whoever saved the prince's life, already knew our plan. We must reach that person before we get caught, said the first minister. It means the crown prince is dead, said Robert to himself. No one rescued him. Something strange happened that day. My soul entered his body as he died. But does that mean I cannot go back to my first body? Maybe I died too. Robert thought. But one thing was clear to Robert. Crown Prince was dead. The king's suspicions about Crown Prince were wrong. He was not his enemy, someone else wanted to kill the king. It must be the same person who killed the Crown Prince. Robert went to his room and fell asleep. The next morning, at breakfast, the weird man asked Robert about his plan to kill the king. Is king not a good man? inquired Robert. The weird man got confused. He told Robert that he was acting differently these days. Robert told him that he didn't remember anything. He didn't even know why the weird man was repeatedly talking about killing the king. Your Highness, the king does not like you. He has always been suspicious of you, and he wants to replace you with his youngest son as the crown prince, said the weird man. If the king wants to make him a prince, what is the harm to me? Asked Robert. The new crown prince will kill you so that you do not become an obstacle in his way in the future, cried the weird man. So is it possible that the younger son killed the crown prince? Asked Robert in surprise. Your Highness. You are alive, cried the weird man. No, the real crown prince is dead. Some people poisoned him and threw him in the river. Robert looked into his eyes and said. Your Highness, you are so funny. But you shouldn't joke about your death, said the weird man. Do I ask you something Mr. Weird, said Robert. Mr. Weird? Who are you, asked Robert. Your Highness. In the afternoon, King's soldiers entered the Crown Prince's mansion. They attacked the servants and took the prince out by force. Robert was summoned to the king's palace. A large crowd had gathered outside the palace. The crown prince was to be executed. It was the king's command. Robert was terrified. He knew the crown prince was innocent, and if the king executed him today, the enemies would gain power. Then it would be much easier for them to assassinate the king. The king hanged Robert in front of the crowd. Everyone hated the crown prince because they believed he tried to murder their king. At four o'clock in the morning, some people entered the king's room secretly. Before entering, these people knocked all the guards unconscious. At the time, the king was sleeping. One of them hurled a knife and attacked the king. Someone came up behind him and stopped him. The king awoke. The guards stormed in and immediately arrested the enemy's men. Hearing the news of the attack on the king, the entire palace awoke. 
the two ministers who were behind it all were captured. And the person who saved the king was none other than Robert. Everyone was surprised to see Robert. Then they discovered that it was all a trick of the prince and the king. The suspect wanted to create a divide between the king and the prince. The news spread everywhere outside the kingdom. Prince's companions were overjoyed. The mastermind behind all of this planning was the weird man who Robert still didn't know who he was. After that day, the king and the prince lived happily and ruled for many years.